Yo, what up, team? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys already know what time it is. It's reaction time. You're damn right it's reaction time. <laughs> and action time. Oh, yeah. What we reacting to today? The Shadow Strays final trailer. Yeah! Netflix original. <laughs> yes. We here, y'all. <laughs> this is special. Yes, it is, brother. Let them know why it's special. Man, this is uh, the legend. The one and only uh, Timo Giantel, man. Uh, gave us Headshot. Night comes for us. The Big Four. Mm -hmm. He's been doing a lot of Netflix originals. Uh, the upcoming Nobody 2 and the remake of Train Busan, Last Train to New York with uh, James Wan producing. Yeah, I heard and about Joe that. And Joe Tatlum is the lead. I heard about that. So uh, he's on fire right now. And uh, Timo's been doing a lot of great things, him and uh, Gareth Evans. But uh, the action genre has changed for the better. Uh, over in Indonesia, they're doing it big. And we're seeing it on the West. Oh. And it's fire. And where the West is the best. You ready to react? I'm ready, man. These headphones on, man. All right, brother. You ready? I'm ready. We're going to start this thing right now. Toronto International Film Festival. We got to go to that. Game. Operator 13, Anda ditugaskan menunggu sampai pemberitahuan selanjutnya. Komitmen dan dedikasimu selalu kami hargai. Sebenarnya nama kakak siapa sih? Sold. Okay. 13. Kamu terdistraksi. Karena itu kamu gagal. Di mana Monji? Kamu mau anak itu, saya mau jasa kamu. Saya tahu kamu bukan perempuan sembarangan. Yap, 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 yap. Dang. Yap, yap. <laughs> Your body's all over Jakarta. Got some new faces. All right. Saya bukan cuma sebuah nomor. Okay. Oh man, October. Okay. I'm definitely That's down. That's another plus. I'll say um, they definitely know how to blend both styles of like horror and martial arts. That's the first time I even knew that martial horror exists. I was like, you can do that? <laughs> like they were doing like Freddy Krueger, Jason Kills. I like, knew about martial law, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> martial <laughs> horror. I was like, this is a new subgenre that I can get behind. Like, yeah. And these two filmmakers brought it to the West. Yeah. And they are the best right now. And you doing it? They doing their thing. Nobody's man. touching that. America is learning from them. Actually, <laughs> yeah, they're trying, to, they're trying to catch up. They're trying to figure yeah. out why do these independent films get a better, uh, 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 rewatchable value over these big budget films? Those are and they're understanding why. You know what I mean? It's not about always. It's always about flash. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It's it's always about flash. But it's what kind of flash? Do you want that full meal flash, or right. you want a piece of candy flash? And America tends to do a lot of candy flash true Very you true. got a full plate with this one this full one has some great detail yeah and the ass whoop is going to be amazing and when you're dealing with female action stars the ass whoopings are very unique and yeah. that's what i'm waiting for yeah to see how she's going to overcome that obstacle right and that's the beauty of it yeah because that take them techniques bro yeah when the, uh, the night comes for us yeah yeah, that was wild. Uh, the operator. Ah, Julie chef Stills. kiss, bro. Shout out to the Hammer Girl actress <laughs> for coming back. Bro, yeah, it was Julia just Stills like, yo. <laughs> they took an actress that did not have a background in uh, martial arts and made us believe. Like, So that's a greatness to her acting as yeah. well, too. And uh, Very beautiful, very talented. Uh, these directors, again, Timo and uh, Gareth, understand how to utilize the women and, and make them like equal playing field for the man. But they make it believable and realistic like you spoke of. Absolutely. And it's great. And uh, just great characters, too. But uh, I, I will also say, uh, with the storytelling that Timo brings, uh, I can already see that when we watch this movie and I obviously review it, we're going to want more. And I feel like the world building was so unique in the trailer that this could span multiple films, kind of like how The Night Comes For Us did. Yeah. So depending on, you know, the viewership and the ratings and how much we watch it, maybe that can be possible. I got a question for you, man. Yeah. Because they, they do such a good job. They've been doing this for a very long time. Uh, I remember you know getting 
knowing who they were in the first time in the first you know what i mean yeah swap me stuff man you know hey bro two for one two for one you know yeah and you get those dvds back then you know you start understanding who they are but what do you say with their direction a modern day blood sport I, i'm buying a ticket i'm buying a ticket we're doing tournaments in today all right yeah it, what the their style the tournament is going to keep going absolutely but when you bring them on, it's all about who's behind the camera and who's making it. So that's the bar five thing. Scott I, Atkins? I will watch. Yes. Yes. As Lee? Yes. Or is he too old? Is he going to be. Wait, is he going to. Are you talking about the, the bolo role? No, I'm talking about like we're going to follow. Oh, just. Journey. Okay. 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 Yeah. He's going to be the main guy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Too old? No. No, no. In action, it's kind of. It, it works differently. Retired champion. Okay. Yeah got tc young bucks frank dukes because <laughs> all right a modern day like you know john claude character yeah, yeah. It, it was there you got me and we're just the tournament keeps going okay you had me in blood sport i was i was even gonna say uh have them do a these guys do a modern day version for us for uh, best of the best Ooh, yeah and uh the late james Earl jones is passing he was the coach of that team yep, yep, yeah yeah yep. so i'm 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 all for it man fight tournament movies are great we got to get back to it and there's there's drama to be held within that there's always drama like somebody trying to achieve and be the best that they can be become the best fighter overcoming the obstacles fear you know i never understood why why hollywood never reached out to those guys that do mortal Kombat. i know it's up their alley it's funny because everybody was on that train like gareth evans should have been the one that they called because he knows how to step it down for Hollywood. Yeah. But at the same time, go extreme for Hollywood. Yeah. I will never forgive the WB execs for not keeping uh, Gareth Evans on his dial for that Deathstroke movie that we almost got with him and Joe Magnelio. Joe Magnelio said himself that I worship at the altar of the guy that made the raid. They were going to do it. We were going to get it. It was going to be an origin film. Hour 50 long minute movie. We might still have a chance because remember, they just announced yeah, that right. Bane and, and yeah. Deathstroke movie. Yeah. So, a buddy crime villain cop movie. Right. So I'm that down. was the segue. So basically the, the pitch was he was going for a Korean noir style movie with Slade Wilson. Damn. And that was the inspiration. Uh, Korean noir movies. And and because you remember Slade was originally a good guy. Yes. Per se. Yes. And training to go against the mercenary of Bane. Yeah. And bringing down Bane's establishment of drugs. So it was going to be the a... Venom. Slade Wilson story Ooh. essentially, and we talking meets, about we talking about a modern Slade. We not even yeah. talking about juiced up Slade yet, right? Ooh, you, you feel me? I can watch that movie, yeah, because you got two significant villains, yeah, but technically they're not villains, exactly. So basically, DC's the man from nowhere meets old boy. <laughs> it would have been dope. Go here, go look, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it the sky's the limit though, and the conversation can change now that James Gunn is like running the things right now. And maybe I agree with you, and uh, I'm gonna keep that hope too. Maybe there, it still could be on the floor. It, maybe it could still happen. No, it, and uh, Timo's doing nobody too, so that's gonna bring his style to the stage because a lot of his stuff has been on streaming. This is gonna be his first like foray into like the Hollywood status. Like even though it's an action movie, but people are gonna see it. But I nobody told you, has to follow. I told you we're in a hybrid of 1980. Yeah, and we're gonna hit the middle of the 80s in, in 2025. I'm here for it. And what was going on in the 80s? Yeah, action, action movies. Action we, and we drug back. movies, bro. <laughs> we're back. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're big supporters of Timo on this page. If you haven't seen Jay's review on the last uh, last night comes for us, go watch it. I actually did a live stream on that one, too. Yeah. Like, it's gone, though. It was on Senior, But, yeah. man, that junk was lit, bro. And, uh, that review is <laughs> hilarious and epic. Like, so that was movie tight. We know who this guy is and what he brings to the table, man. Yeah. We're here for this. It's day one. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, you know, it's funny because we're talking about you got to gotta bring some people back. We need a new uh, Chuck Norris. Yeah. You, you gotta get these guys back. You gotta, men. It's crazy. It's time man. to step up. You gotta. You gotta. That's right, dude. Like we don't have a Sylvester Stallone. We don't have an Arnold right and now. And we have. We we watch so much, and I've seen so many actors and stuff that like that have been around, that are up and coming, that, and that are great. And streaming services are pushing them, and but the movie studios aren't. I, I don't think they understand the the level of potential of what it is because they're just looking at the outside. They're not looking at like the future longevity. It, it is very simple. Like you got Hemsworth has a bunch of brothers, and then you got these guys over here like on television. You got the Leo Howards, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Bobo uh, Stewart, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Zach Wang, 
over here doing the uh, thing on Disney Plus, American Born Chinese, which was a great show, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got these little heavy hitters and stuff like there's jugglers like here and there. It's all about discovery. Uh, short round, Ki Hui and Kwan's making a comeback. I love it because I felt like he should never left. Should never left. But the idea is that they're out there. You just got to you got to make the discovery and get your feet wet and go out and grab them and bring them in. Because yeah. if you don't, they're gonna be left to the wayside. The talent is there. It's definitely there. Yeah, and that's a problem when fans on social media be like, "This guy right here is the one." What are you doing? You're wasting time. You know what I'm saying? Wasting a lot of time. It always happens. But I, I think they're gonna find their way because movies like this, Netflix has shown that they can contend with film and get the streaming people to yeah. the, the viewers to stream their product at a continuous fast pace that in fact they've done better than most streaming services i'm not putting no names out there but the big mouse a lot of shows didn't even get streamed yeah. like it's, it, it the views were so bad they had to take it off the platform Damn. it cost them so much to hold it on the platform it's like right. just take that off no one's watching this See? so you know what i mean a lot of failed projects like that but netflix do their thing man you know we they just are. we just you know they got great documentaries and great action movies and international base you know what i mean like we got squid games coming back and then uh uh, uh, is taking all over. of us are dead and the indonesians are taking over right bro now. man the japanese content, viewing though. is taking over bro dead, dead. and the thing about content. it it's always been there yeah but like me and you yeah and so many of you guys out there we went and found it and we got a chance to enjoy it that's the you know what i'm saying um yeah i remember going to the video store and going to the international side yep and you and and personally i just watch a lot of jackie chan movies it was just sitting right there yeah, like right yo there. the wu-tang collection you just take it and watch it this is you know for us you know what i mean and that then channel 13 upm would show a lot of uh uh dub versions i personally people don't like dubs i love dubs oh, was great because i grew up on dub yeah and it didn't matter it didn't matter what the wordplay was i understood the concept because i understand body language but anyway i love the dub that's you know what i mean yeah. uh, uh that's what i grew up on you know i i'll take you all down yeah Cause you're your brother. But it he showed, murdered my it, cousin. <laughs> wow, that, that was dope though. Cause <laughs> like, it showed the, the that? diversity <laughs> and it showed that this is different. Yeah. But we're doing this so that you guys can understand. But we know that you love it. But we're dubbing so that you can understand. So yeah. you don't have to think it's hard. Yeah. But that was like, all right, I'm watching something that's on the outside. All right, the dubbing is cool. This is obviously international and it's great. So I, the dub, like, it worked. It worked, man. Like, I thought it was a cool gimmick to get us in. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, and it helped the story too. And it was like sometimes the dub was cheesy, but that was part of the charm. And then sometimes like the dub was actually needed. You know what I'm saying? You remember watching rated R movies and yep. they were dubbed? Yeah. And you knew the movie? Yeah. God darn it! You gotta be stupid to get fired on your day off. Yeah. That ain't Chris Tucker. <laughs> but the funny thing was like uh, when I when I was seeing like the actual version, like go back and watch the traditional uh, native tongue. And then we would finally get it over here in the West. I, I'd be like, man, I'd be so ahead of people. Like, man, I saw that like two years ago. Yep, yep, yep. this is the one. This is the rich. This is the full cut right this here. This is the so, one I was telling everybody about. Yep. But they, that scene was new. They brought that fight in. So Jackie Chan throwing more punches in this scene. Like you were dissecting because like when it came to the West, like movies were edited yeah. for TV or stuff like that. Or sometimes we didn't get the full version. But then when they were internationally releasing, you got the real thing. You'd be like, oh yeah, this is different. Yeah. So it was tight breaking stuff down. Like they'd be like, "Dang, you saw that? Yep, I did." And my dad would always bring in some martial art movies. Man, we always like Saturday, Sunday that was the afternoon. Best. Man, we watching. If if it ain't Kevin Serbo or Lucy Lawless, <laughs> bro, that was the it's, best. It's some martial art going on, man. I just I just Yo, really he, enjoyed. He it. was pushing that stuff too because yeah. uh, I think around it you spoke on the, the Hercules, the Action Pack era. Yeah. You had Vanishing Son. Yep. Uh, yeah. Street Justice with Carl Weathers. Yep. You had Nightman. Nightman. Yep. Generation X. Yep. yep. So Generation. WB would have their little Action Pack uh, segment. Yeah. Which was dope. All that, and before that, Soul Train. Yep. There it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So uh, they was pushing, man. Uh, what's his name? Don Cornelius. Don Cornelius. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yes, Soul train. All right, man. But guess what? It's not about us. Hey, it's about y'all. Post your comments down below. Let us know how much fun you guys had watching this trailer. And are you guys going to take a look at this on October 17th? I want to know. And I also want to know, would you guys check out the Patreon if we went on ahead and did a reaction to this? Or do you just want a review on it? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm J3. Running show. Good. Woo! Ninja Sess. Road to 100,000 subscribers.